People cover their laptop cameras for fear of hackers, but never their phone cameras. I block mine not because of hackers. It's because I don't want to join a meeting with my camera accidentally on while in my pajamas when working from home. Unless they have a phone case with camera covers. I've seen them for front and rear facing cameras. When I jerk off using my phone I always cover both cameras. I don't want the FBI guy see my nut face. You're right, but there's actually a valid reason for that. Your phone's OS has much better security controls than your desktop OS. Desktop OS controls are still mostly user-oriented, while mobile OS controls are more application-oriented. Desktops are evolving toward a more modern model, but legacy compatibility keeps them less secure. I've definitely seen people on the bus with bits of masking tape over their front-facing camera, so the struggle is real. I'd love to use a phone case that has some sort of slider so you can cover and uncover the front camera. If people want to watch me playing with my skin they are more than welcome. It is quite stretchy I could probably make money on OnlyFans for people with weird fetishes. That CCP Huawei employee already has my search history and keyboard bugged, so he might as well get to watch the show. Mine has a pop-up front camera Motorola One Hyper One thing that led me to discover was Instagram, WhatsApp and sometimes Facebook like to snap a pic of me when I close the app, started noticing whenever I close one of them most frequently Instagram the camera would pop up and down again. Denied camera permissions to those and problem solved. To be fair, cell phones are quite harder to hack than laptop, and the permission system on the cell phone make it harder for a bad app to gain access to the camera. Phones are a lot more annoying to do that for and less practical and generally when you don't use them they face up so not much to see. Also there's phones with mechanical cameras which retract inside the phone thus covering it up. You say to me as I sit in the bathtub with my hand over both the front and back cameras lol. But I know I'm an outlier, so my data point just gets tossed. Anyway, just know that I see you and you make an excellent point. I would happily rather buy a phone that has no camera, I never use it in honesty I just end up trying to cover it when I'm having some me time. I really want to meet the person who's willing to watch my face all day long. It's even stupider than that. They never think about the microphones, which are more likely to pick up something from a hidden compartment than a camera, and are not disabled by the camera slider that new laptops have. I used to work at ATT people 100% block their cameras. I saw a case with a flip down blocker, but I imagine it's cause people use their phone cameras more. I knew a guy in college who would always disassemble his phone the first day he got it, and put a physical piece of plastic in to permanently cover the camera. He was obviously the exception, and this was back in the day when you didn't need to use a heat gun to disassemble your phone. I put a sticker on mine after my FB account got hacked once. Also because my boss kept video calling me at inappropriate times. You set up Redditors to tell you how smart they are. I salute you. Because Android and iOS has better permission system than especially Windows. I used to cover my phone camera, but stopped when facial recognition became a thing. Should probably go back to using just a passcode. Yeah because they have to make TikTok videos and take photos for Instagram duh. No it's just because I don't want to join any meetings with my camera on, let alone, what if it gets left on and I forget and take off my sweatshirt letting them see all my fat rolls. No thanks. My computer camera is way more likely to be compromised than my phone camera. Dude you haven't seen my phone. My front facing camera is taped over. It's been like that for four years. My dad used to keep a piece of paper in his phone case over this camera. Yes I do. Heck I couldn't replace my phone since it has one where it retracts into the phone. I know a guy who had his laptop camera taped because he didn't want hackers to see his face, but used face and fingerprint ID on the phone. Ah yes, and then we hold our phones in our hands while on the toilet pointing the camera down at our genitals and the bowl and up towards our face at the same time. What a time to be alive. 
Good point, I personally believe Google YouTube Facebook IG. Use both camera and the microphone to gather information. Passively while the end use isn't aware. I always wondered why people are worried about some stranger seeing them. Are they really interested in watching me write code, browse Reddit, and masturbate? Actually there's more of a reason for this. Phones are harder to hack than computers from what I'm aware. MIL got into conspiracy theories during lockdown etc., started taping the camera and microphone on her iPhone, as well as using a privacy screen protector that limits view of the screen from angles other than straight on. But she wasn't concerned about hackers, just the government face with rolling eyes. Actual hackers won't care about your camera, but rather, your microphone. As any dirt they gather on you is most likely going to be from you saying something incriminating, rather than doing something incriminating. Covering your camera doesn't help you here. My phone flips shut, covering the front camera. I also have a case on it that has a camera cover for the back one. Yeah because you can disable the camera system entirely on base Android not Samsung Onui or iOS unfortunately. Avoiding being spied on is pointless these days and we did it to ourselves, with our own money. My aunt and uncle have stickers all over their phone and laptops. But not on their ring camera. If you have two guns and only one trigger lock you don't just not lock one gun because it only fits one. You do what you can do. I have a circle of black tape over my front camera because I've never taken a selfie and never expect to. I used to have a friend who would obsess over this. I started pointing out all the cameras he didn't know that were there, like his smart TV, his Xbox Connect, etc. And told him that whatever he is doing that he's so nervous of, they already know and they don't care. Turns out, the dude was a pedophile and is doing 18 to 25 based on the evidence he had on his laptop, phone, PC, and tablet. In other words, people taping shit up are doing it for attention. And there are cases to block phone cameras, but not many people buy them. One thing I appreciate about Android Samsung is the toggle to disable all sensors, including GPS, camera, MIC, iris scanner, etc. I know a software block isn't infallible, but that little extra sense of privacy is nice. Even better is that it doesn't disable Bluetooth. I covered my laptop camera, but my phone is rarely pointed at my face so there's no need. Not going to get much from the ceiling I'm afraid. My Pixel 7 has the ability to disable the camera and mics. But who knows if it's truly disabled. I like the Samsung Z Flip because the camera is only on one side when it's closed. If some modifuka gonna hack my phone camera and watch me, him gonna make sure he watches me bust a fat nut every night. I mean good for them. I don't think there's much to see here. I would buy a phone with no cameras if there are any good options. I feel like cameras are used to justify unreasonable prices more than anything at this point. The other hardware is very unremarkable due to unsustainable yearly refreshes. If I could buy a decent quality phone case with a camera cover I'd buy one. That's where you are wrong buddy, I am already ahead of that LMAO. TBH a lot of people don't get how viruses work. Had a girl tell me in class she can't get a virus cause it's an iPhone. This is why I love and refuse to replace my OnePlus 7 Pro. The pop-up camera is half the reason I bought it. Wish there were more phones with this design but I guess I'll be keeping this phone for a long time. People cover their cameras but forget their mics can also be hacked. I bought a sticker with a sliding camera cover for the selfie camera. I don't care if someone wants to see me wanking as long as they don't see my face while I do it. I block the front camera with electrical tape and my case has a sliding cover for the rear camera. Be sure they use your microphone to figure out what you're talking about to sell you stuff, way more than the camera anyway. I have a pop-up camera, so at least for the front nobody could ever use it without me also knowing. People cover their laptop cameras for fear of hackers, but never their phone cameras. Phone cameras are most people's only actual camera and you generally want your actual camera to be quickly accessible for photography.